Well, here at the east end of Grand Lake is where some of the water from that river, which is now in Grand Lake, will enter a tunnel and travel through the divide to the east side of Rocky Mountain National Park. The Alva B. Adams Tunnel is one of the most remarkable engineering accomplishments of all time. The assignment was to bring water from the western side of the Continental Divide and distribute it to farms and communities in eastern Colorado, and to do it with minimal impact on the natural environment of Rocky Mountain National Park, an almost impossible task. The project began in 1940 with two crews, one on the west and one on the east, burrowing to meet in the middle. After a few interruptions, like World War II, they met, practically dead on. In 1947, the tunnel was now sending a gravity feed of water 13.1 miles under the mountains. And although the tunnel is large enough to drive a small car through, we'll take the less humid 40 or so mile drive back across Trail Ridge Road. Water from the tunnel makes its first appearance on the east side at the east portal, and then it enters another tunnel which carries it to Mary's Lake. Well, this is Mary's Lake, where the water once again makes an appearance out of a tunnel over there at the Mary's Lake power plant and forms this beautiful lake. Well, this was actually a natural lake, but it's much larger since they added the tunnel. Now it's gonna go back into another tunnel to its final destination at Lake Estes where it's going to join up with the Big Thompson River. But before it does that, some of it, a little bit of it, is going to go into a smaller pipe, head up to my house, and end up on my toothbrush. Entering Lake Estes through a hydroelectric plant, the water is now part of the Big Thompson River. The dam on the lake was constructed to control the flow of this larger volume of water. The aesthetic and recreational benefits are a byproduct of a power struggle. Not just electrical, but economical, as in irrigation. Water distribution is part of the history of the American West. Alterations can cause disputes in the upper branches of government or in the upper branches of a ponderosa pine. Sincere solutions come with the ability to look someone in the eye and speak the truth. The truth with the Big Thompson Project is this is not the whole story. 